Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, senior editor here at CNET.com. Today we're going to take a first look at the Google Ion. Now, the Google Ion is a version of the HTC Magic that is the second Android phone that we've been expecting for some time. This particular phone does have T-Mobile service on it for a limited time, but it's not officially the HTC Magic for T-Mobile. It's just a version of the phone that is working on T-Mobile. This phone is a full touchscreen phone, so there is no physical keyboard, just a few physical controls down here. You're going to be using an on-screen keyboard for all functions. Also has a landscape keyboard as well. Nice display on the front here, pretty bright and colorful. You can flip your finger like this and move between different screens. You can move it to the left and to the right, and you can get even more icons on there. Press this icon right there, and the full menu will pop up. A lot of features there, uh, things like the megapixel camera, a lot of uh, applications. There's a barcode scanner. You get Bluetooth, messaging, email, personal organizer, music player. So really all the features that we found on the G1 and you'd expect to find on any Android phone are here. Physical controls down here at the bottom. You'll see there's a trackball, talk and end buttons, also the power. You have a button for home that will take you back to the main screen. You press the search button will pop up a Google search and you can see the keyboard right there. Here in the side there is a volume rocker. That's all you see here. Pretty thin. I uh, didn't have any problem finding it when it was up against my ear but felt like it just could be a little bigger. You have the camera lens right here. There is no flash or self-portrait mirror. I found that the touchscreen uh, feels pretty good. Uh, very uh, slick, uh, very brilliant and nice and colorful. Not maybe quite as slick as the iPhone and it does take a little more uh, acclimation. You have to sort of look at it a little more and understand how to use it. But uh, once you get the hang of it, it's very easy to use. Of course, one thing that we didn't like on the G1 is it didn't have a uh, standard headset jack. We really wish the HTC would go in and just add a standard headset jack, preferably 3.5 millimeter. The NHTC Magic 4 T-Mobile has cleared the FCC, so that does mean it's compatible with T-Mobile's uh, GSM, that's for calling, and with its AWS, which is its 3G services. So definitely hope that we see a full device for T-Mobile by the end of the year. But this does give us a taste of what we could expect. I'm Ken Sherman, and this is the Google Ion, a version of the HTC Magic. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Applebyte, and I'll see you there.